Hey traders, checking in on the stock market today, big tech names, which saw the first starting signs of consolidation yesterday, following through today into daily pullbacks. We have the Canadian marijuana stock still keeping our attention, trying for the longer term momentum and sentiment shift. And we'll check in on IWM bulls keeping control on the daily uptrend. So looking at the S&P 500 futures, this is the second day in a row where we had a setup where the bears could have taken over and they just were non-existent overnight. So two days ago, we were watching at this hourly setup where the bulls could have confirmed the downtrend and they failed. And yesterday we were watching our four hour equilibrium where the bears could have confirmed the downtrend and they failed. So we did get a new all time high today, but that does not have any follow through. So we are still watching it as a double top here. And I'm essentially just viewing it as that high, low, lower high, higher low, bull break with zero follow through, came down towards support and bulls held that support level. So still within a tightening range after the double top at that all time high. And looking at the hourly chart, just a wide range. I would anticipate this hourly time frame is going to tighten up a bit overnight. So bottom line is bears are not proving it and still grinding higher and looking at spy all time high today, higher low every day, the last five days. And again, just rotation going on because today we saw the big tech names pull back and we saw the financial sector put a stop to the pullback and they were going a bit inverse to each other. You can see QQQ broke the pattern of a higher low every day the last four days, daily consolidation underway. And we did get right above first hourly oversold conditions, which is the back burner coming off of all time highs and little bounce into the end of the day, running out of time before we could see how much follow through it would have. So just looking at those individual names, remember the bearish reversal candles on the daily time frame yesterday that we went over, it was Apple, and that was an inside bar today. And that was actually one of the stronger tech names. But Amazon was the other one. So bearish reversal candle into daily consolidation. Other than that, we had Google upper wick into daily consolidation. Pretty notable daily consolidation. We're looking down at pretty much anything above 2685 as a higher low. But the volume stands out to us. Microsoft is nice and tight. A little daily equilibrium in the last two weeks. Facebook daily consolidation has begun. Again, pretty significant as far as the amount of the pullback. And I traded Facebook's first hourly oversold bounce today through the morning. And again, just like yesterday, I took one bounce trade and they were in my wheelhouse as far as oversold bounces. And it was RSI on the hourly was 31. And I front ran it by starting to scale in before hourly RSI hit 30. And the reason was the 15 minute was a waterfall drop and the RSI was approaching single digits on the 15 minute time frame. So I zoomed into the five minute. I saw there was some little cooling off of the RSI going on, but it was down in the low 20s. I made my first entry 3760s. I would have made a second entry in the upper 374s. We never got there and the bounce got underway and I exited on the initial bounce. We did confirm a five minute trend change and see more significant follow through before seeing a new low of the day, but I was gone before giving the five minute trend change attempt. And again, this is pretty much the same time as yesterday where that's my get off the computer time because I want to retain my sanity. So tech names, we're now watching hourly oversold conditions. So when I look at Amazon, Amazon is finally pulling back after a high low every single day for a long time. And again, just that pattern breaking ending up getting a decent amount of follow through to the downside, $20, not a huge amount, but enough to be worthwhile. And we're watching first hourly oversold conditions. We're watching for it on every big tech name that's been running and has not seen first hourly oversold yet. So Google is right there. It's on the verge of happening. We're gonna watch for it on Apple. If the inside bar breaks bearish, we're looking for it on, that's about it as far as who's up close to it happening. Netflix continuing to follow through with its cup and handle breakout, upper wick of profit taking today, but all time high. Wow, did we get it? All time high, just like that. 600 psychological resistance, but that is, if you ever want to show a friend a cup and handle, Netflix daily time frame to all time high is the one. Financial sector, so daily inside bar, high of yesterday is a double top to the penny. If we break 38.45, our daily higher low is set. And we'll then be looking back at the all time high. So the question I posed yesterday was, if we see big tech daily consolidation, does that mean the financial sector is gonna set our daily higher low and see that rotation continue going on? And the answer right now is maybe. We'll see what tomorrow brings, but the setup is there for that potential 
to take place. We know IWM has been a lead bull over the last two weeks since the SPY fear reset, and we are continuing to march higher. And at the high of today, we were getting within less than 2% of that all-time high. So it is certainly in play. And next time we pull back on the daily, anything above 224.33 will be a daily higher low. The last two mornings have started the same for IWM with weakness. We had about a 15, 20 minute drop today and a much more steep drop, but roughly the same amount of time. And then the bull can, took over for the rest of the morning from there. So that just shows us some solid dip buying continuing to take place. And again, for all these sectors, whether you're watching XBI or Penn or all these names that trade based off of IWM, or I should say more correlated to IWM than other sectors, definitely want to be keeping a close eye. And for me, that's the MJ sector that I'm keeping an eye on. It's trading very correlated to IWM, but I want to see it show me a bullish correlation to IWM because the last thing I want to see is IWM need some weekly consolidation because the MJ sector would be positioned very poorly for that. So they need to play catch up in a big way. The biotech sector has been on absolute fire since the SPY fear reset and since the PFE buyout, but it's a higher low every single day for 10 days now. And we're looking up at limited resistance, limited nearby resistance, 138.60 and 141.50 are the only two levels that we're watching in the short term. Strong closes two days in a row and just an absolute turnaround off that monthly support level. Very impressive. So on the MJ sector front, CGC, again, we're getting a lot of back and forth here and the bulls are keeping it alive, keeping the possibility alive. The high recently was 1772. We got a double top there. We got to get over 18. Getting over 18 confirms the daily trend change and we're setting up for an, an interesting week next week. And you can see the volume is picking up here the last three days, even though the range is still fairly tight. So we're going to look for a spike in volatility next week. I'm still thinking it could be to the upside, but bulls have the burden of proof here. TLRY, upper wicks here, unable to follow through at the moment. And ACB is the other one we're watching. Again, just multiple inside bars. We're getting nice and tight here. Let's see how we close out the week and whether or not the bulls can give some confidence as we head into next week. I keep glancing over and seeing what's going on after hours. Baba. So Baba with a big gap up open. The daily trend change has confirmed, but certainly a gap up open for selling today. And we had consolidation across all the names that I watch. KWeb daily inside bar, Baidu daily inside bar. And the Baba bulls will just need to maintain the daily higher lows. So bulls have to hold 158.23 for a daily higher low. From here, keeping in mind that we're just looking for weekly lower highs on all of these Chinese sector names. Oil confirming the daily trend change on the inventory report. Actually, the inventory report was yesterday, but following through post bull flag. So now what? Now we zoom out to the weekly. Anything under 73.52 is a weekly lower high, but this monthly consolidation is remaining very healthy at this point. Significant recovery for the bulls and a new daily higher low benchmark of support, 67.12. Gold is getting tight. Volatility coming for gold. If not tomorrow, then certainly to start next week. Bulls still maintaining the daily higher lows, but sitting under resistance as we tighten up. Is silver giving us any clues? Nope, it's sideways as well. Miners pulling back a bit on the daily. So looking for, let's see if the dollar is giving us any clues. Dollar's still weak. So this shows me a little bit of a favor for, well, I look at this and I say, Okay, so gold is trading sideways for four days and the dollar is dropping for four days. So what happens when the dollar bounces because we are in four hour oversold conditions? And the answer is the metals would likely pull back. So it's almost like the metals are just trading sideways and waiting for the dollar bounce to see a bit more pullback here. So keeping a close eye on this as the dollar is still struggling to set a weekly higher low, anything above 91.78. But again, at this point, the amount of consolidation we've seen since confirming the monthly trend change is a red flag. A red flag is starting to form on the dollar, for the dollar bulls, I should say. And next time we bounce on the weekly, we'll have to be watching for the potential of a weekly lower high to be the result of that bounce. 
I think that's all we're looking at today. Cryptocurrency space has been fairly strong recently. Bitcoin is testing its recent highs. I look at the crypto space for a risk on clues. If crypto is breaking out, it certainly means risk on, and that is beneficial for the broader market and vice versa. So no sign of any weakness. Keeping an eye out for it, and we will see you next week. Have a good weekend. Do good things.